Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. What's going on, the people that miss your boy Cam Topical Juice? And yo, this is, I think this is my favourite episode of the whole season, you know. I've been down in the dumps, you lot. I've been sad. I've been moping around this season. It's not really been giving. I know you lot enjoyed the movie night the other night. I thought it was okay. I, I was the only one, clearly. But bro, this episode absolutely slapped. Oh my day, one of them Whitney Houston ones. Whitney and Bobby ones. This one slizz at. Hey. I don't even know where to start because my notes are all over the place because there's too, too many things happen. A lot of like intricacies happen. It's mad because I was literally getting ready for bed. I was thinking, you know what, I'll, I'll do this episode tomorrow. But the episode just kept getting better and better and better. And I thought, you know what, I'm excited to do this. So let me just get this episode done. I've got a lot of things to do tomorrow. I've got a busy day. So um, yeah. So anyway, smash that like button. It takes two seconds. It makes a mass massive difference. Press that subscribe button for me. Roll to 50k. Hit the bell to be notified. All of that, all of that. And um, yeah, merchandise. Let's just get straight into this, man, because I, I, I don't even know where to start. So... So the episode starts with Chris pulling up Callum and he's just basically talking about, he's just preempting any potential animosity between the two of them because obviously Joanna, she's got the ick. I feel sorry for Chris, man. Chris, obviously there's something wrong with the man, respectfully, because I think the only time I've ever seen him be a gallus, be a gallum sugar, was what the episode one, when the girls didn't know his personality. You know, there was this. <laughs> now, as I said to you at the start, I like Chris from when I met him in real life. He seems funny, but clearly when it comes to girls, I think the jokes, people ain't really feeling it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, Joanna, she dumps him. Let's, you know, whatever, keeps it stepping. And Joanna, by the way, oh, let me not even, she was getting me pissed off tonight, you know. This, all this, you know, you lot know me. I don't like the tears. Joanna, nah, don't piss me off. Let me just, woosa, you know them ones. Anyway, cool. So he's just talking about, yeah, I'm preempting any potential animosity. Chris is definitely hurt. He's saying it stings. I get it. Chris's confidence is shot. Um, Callum's basically saying that, yeah, I hear you. Thank you for this. Um, I'm ha but I'm happy with Jess at the moment. I'm open to get to know her, but I'm happy with Jess, etc., etc. Um, but he was ultimately shocked about Joanna pulling him up, saying, you know, I'm interested, whatever, whatever. Um, and then Joanna starts talking about the speech. Now the speech was cringy in that, but I can't really remember. I can't really remember the rest of the speech. But she starts talking about how it was sarcastic, like bitching about him. I swear she was bitching about him in yesterday's episode as well. From the little bits I saw. Um, so, so yeah, I didn't really understand that. Um, talking about how it was sarcastic, I, I didn't really understand that bit. But either way, stop using little things like the speech as to why you're not interested in my man. It's literally just because you're not interested in my man. He's too cringy, he's icky. He, there's no sexual chemistry. He'd rather he'd rather do stand-up comedian show. He'd rather tell you not not jokes than want to make love to you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I, I I don't really understand where that came from. But those who can remember the speech, let me know. And I just you know what yeah. I wrote down here, Chris might as well get dumped because he's had the same opportunity that Kaz has had. More. I said Kaz, it was time to, for Kaz to go. Yeah, Kaz wasn't really ha having any luck with um, any love. People weren't coming in for her. Love Island producers set her up, fix as always. But my man has had opportunity after opportunity after opportunity and flopped. What's he still doing here, bro? Respectfully. <laughs> Am I speaking facts or am I just right? You know, one or the other. But either way, I think Chris's, Chris's, Chris's time is pretty much up now. Callum and Jess speak and he basically relays what Joanna said to him. Um, and she's basically saying, you know, you're a little bit in demand. And he's a bit shocked. because, As he said two days ago, he weren't. Or one day ago, he weren't. And I like Callum, man. I really do like Callum. I do. I do. I think he's cool. I think he's like, I think he's quite humble. And he's honest as well. He was honest, especially even, even um, about the kiss as well. He gets brownie points because he told Joanna about the kiss. He doesn't really owe her anything. But the fact that she said, oh yeah, I want to get to know you. He lips her in the night. So he was honest about it. I respect that. I respect Callum for that. Either way, Jess gives him the green light because she's true as well. And I like the twins, you know. I really like the twins. They're, 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 they're honest and they're quite funny and quite direct with what they say. But she basically says, listen, we've, we've been coupled up for a day. It ain't that deep. You do your thing. I respect that. Georgia and Anton get the hideaway. I don't care about that. Um, oh yeah, the other, like, bro, these lot... Georgia and Anton, they're a joke as well, man. I'm not going to lie, like, don't get me wrong. Just because I said, I think a couple days ago, three or four days ago, that she's warming to him, it doesn't mean I think it's real. I don't think it's it's like going anywhere. The, the whole thing is booky. And the way this girl, the way this Georgia girl, snake, basilisk, the way this snake at the end of the episode set Anton up, that is a madness ultimately i think they're just sucking it up and being all cute and, and the fact that it's exclusive is a they're exclusive is a joke by the way what is that I've, obviously i didn't react to yesterday's episode but what is that what are they doing 
Exclusive what? Exclusive where? You, you've you literally just got on the track of like n- not being icked out from by each other or whatever. George, George is, well, Georgia, get you. Listen, I'm getting, I'm getting worked up. You, Georgia, <laughs> you gave Georgia the ick about three days ago, bro. How are you now exclusive? <laughs> anyway, yeah, they're, they're not serious. They're not serious, but. Callum and Joanna speak and he basically says that he does want to get to know her, but um, he had the kiss as well. Fair. And we'll see how that transpires. I'm, I'll be interested to see what Callum does. And if I'm, be, if I'm honest with you guys, I want Callum to choose Jess. She's real. Maybe her body might not be, but her personality is, isn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? So um, she's, no, nah, she's cool, man. I think she's cool. Like Joanna, Joanna's pretty in that, but I think, I think she, I, I reckon deep down she's annoying in it. Like I, to, I reckon be, to be with her. She's annoying. <laughs> She's annoying. I can just see it. I've forgotten what I've forgotten what I mean here, but I just Arabella making it about herself again. Arabella, yeah. She needs to get the boot, man. Um always just making it about her. Just I, I forgot what she said, but just somehow made the scene about her. Like, oh yeah, that's actually what he did to me or something like that. I'm like, bro, ain't no one checking for you. You know what I'm saying? No one's checking for you. So the game starts and I'm not going to lie, I missed the first question. Like I, I just, I, I saw all the answers. I just didn't hear what the first question was. But they were talking about red carpet. So is it like, who? To, I don't know who the bougiest was, but then someone voted for Toby and Georgia. And the point they used was, if it was going to work, it would have worked on the outside. So I don't really know what the first question was. So please, in the comments, let me know what it was because I don't know what it was. Um, but... For the first question, I think Joe and Arabella got quite a few votes. The second question now is the least sexual chemistry. Georgia, H and Anton got a few votes. Casey brings up the ick. And bro, I'm not being funny yet. Casey, he's a rude little prick, but God damn it, he's funny. I don't think he even means it. The way he's so snappy, he's like a little bulldog. He's like, oh, he's so chippy. <laughs> I was, he was making me like laugh out loud. I actually like laughed. I actually like uh, haha, you know what I'm saying? I actually laughed. Just the way he says things, it was just so abrupt in the game. I'm not being funny. I, I, I'm not really making sense of my notes. And I knew this when I was writing my notes. I knew when I was writing them, I'm not going to make sense of this. And just as I predicted, I, I can't make sense of this. Um, but what I'm, what I'm concluding is that in the least sexual chemistry one, Anton and Georgia H got a few votes and so did um, Chris and Joanna, right? Toby was killing me as well. Toby literally said to, to Anton and Georgia, like, I don't get it. Like, I just don't get it, if I'm honest, about the sexual chemistry. I just don't get it. <laughs> Honestly, these men, it's, they, they were, br- in this game, the, it was brutal. The brutality of it. It was beautiful to watch. They weren't holding back. This episode was perfect. It, like, the game was perfect. They, no one was really pussyfooting around. They were, they were saying what it was. <laughs> and I, I respect them for that. But then Jess, yeah, the twin, she's the, she straight up said it about the sexual chemistry. She straight up says to... Um, Chris and Georgia well the reality is Joanna you just dumped him off you literally just called it off with him so that must mean you don't have any sexual chemistry and people started laughing and sniggering like you know when you tell someone like a real brutal truth and it's kind of funny at the same time where she delivered it people were sniggering and Chris he felt the pain he was like oh like you know because Chris Chris is so serious sometimes like he's jokey but he's real serious as well like he's like I'll let you answer that and she's like no one really needs to be said. <laughs> I was like, ooh, ooh. And the way this guy was cuddling up to her when she was crying, all melt, like, oh, all that pathetic crocodile tears that we'll get into. And he's hugging her. He's literally hugging her like he's protecting her from a bomb or something. He's hugging her like. Either way, that was the brutal truth. That's the reality of it. You ain't got no sexual chemistry. That's why she called it off of you. What, what do you think this is? If she was sexually attracted to you and had that spark, you, you wouldn't be dumped. <laughs> Just the whole kissing in bed is easy when you're in intimate settings, I get it. The next one, yeah, is which couple is one-sided and Joanna starts crying. And bro, I'm thinking, what? Bro, are you fucking joking me? Like, are you having me on? Are you having me on? What is this? What are you... Stop being such a wimp, a wuss, a crybaby. What are you... Just dabbing her tears, all these crocodile tears. Oh, oh no, people are doubting my relationship. You literally dumped him. What are you crying for? You should just be taking it on the chin saying, fair, f- fair enough. You know what? Fair. Oh, no. We, you know what? Because we did have a little chemistry. and uh, Shut the f- up. Uh, nah, I'm not even, don't even get me mad, man. Don't even get me irate. Arabella chooses Chris, I think. And then Chris just gets snippy with Arabella. He's like, um, oh, she's a slow burner. Thank you. I think you should know that being her friend. <laughs> Bro, don't kill me. He, the, the, this boy, 
despises Arabella. This man would pay the predator to exterminate her, bro. Either way, Tom says it how it is. It's the current situation. Suck it up, basically. You, you got dumped, bro. Like, it is what it is. Just suck it up. You, you, you took an L. You literally begged her. You wrote her a speech. And it fell through flat on your face. Even Anton says, stop piping up. Like, I think they just like, they just like ganging up on Chris. Like, stop piping up. Like, it? Just chill, chill out. And then the next one's least honest with his feelings. Arabella um, says to Toby that you're not honest um, about making it clear with her or something like that. Um, basically, G and Toby got a fair few votes right, about how he struggles to open up with his feelings. And maybe he actually likes her more than he's letting on, something like that. Aye, and then someone says, Joe and Arabella, I can't remember who it was. And this boy, Joe. <laughs> Yo, this episode was so jokes, man. This this boy, Joe, yeah, he goes, yeah, I liked other people, um, but they were in stronger couples. I was like, what? Arabella even looked at him like. I was I was like, yo, this guy's not serious. This guy, this, this guy had the opportunity to say, you know what? Nah, you know, when I came in, I did have interest in a lot of people, but I gravitated towards Arabella because we had good jokes. She's a good vibe and I find her pretty. My man said, nah, I, I liked other people, but they were in stronger couples. That's it. Full stop. Finished. I, duh, don't kill me. And then the final question comes and it's who's the least compatible, right? And Joanna pipes up again. And goes, oh, trying to get the, trying to do the reverse psychology sympathy vote. Oh, oh, you might as well just vote for us then already. You just get, oh, this is ridiculous. Just cry in bear. Because as I said earlier, they were just arguing and all this. And Chris was piping up trying to defend her saying he's a slow burner and this that and she's saying oh no what we had was real and blah blah, blah. just shut up man you, you, you shut up you literally dumped him it's, it's, that's it that's, 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 that's all there is to it don't kill me and then the beautiful Maya Jama arrives we now know there's a twist and there I was thinking that whoever got the most votes is going to get dumped off so I was creasing because when I, I think Joe and Arabella got three so I was writing in my notes ah lol they've been dumped uh, Joe's only been here for two seconds <laughs> Nah, bro, I swear he hasn't even unpacked his suitcase. Bro, if you haven't unpacked your suitcase, don't bother, bro. Your, your cameo is done. Cameo is done. One of them ones, like, bro, there's no point. There's no point learning people's names. There's no point unpacking. You know what I'm saying? Just go home. Because your time's up. But anyway, that's not what happened. But And then they obviously, got, they obviously got told to do it this way because usually they would say who the name is, that the couple is, and then they would give their reason. But obviously the producers told them, listen, say your reason to build the suspense and then give the names so <clears throat> um so casey and eve i haven't it was too long to write down who voted for who, who voted for who but casey and eve have got two votes joe and arabella got three and chris and joanna got two and this georgia brother this girl this girl is a setup chick this girl is foul guys i'm sorry yeah her her like stubbornness and dogmatic approach to it as well and like just snappiness you know what i'm getting ahead of myself yeah in the voting by the way this is before maya gets there so before maya's got this so before we know what the stakes are she says to anton oh you know what you you, like, you take this one I, you you handle this one I, I, I can't do it you handle it basically in, in, in suggesting I, I can't do it i haven't got the balls to do it I'm not big enough to make the decision. I'm leaving it in your hands. Putting the pressure on Anton. Fair enough. He's big enough and man enough to handle it. And I respect that. Then when it comes to the revealing of the answer, Georgia. Oh, I can't believe. No, I was so mad when I saw it. Oh, damn it. I can't remember exactly what she said word for word. But she basically said, I left this one to Anton. She said, oh, you know what? I let Anton suggest. I let Anton make this decision. Something like that. And Anton's like, <laughs> and everyone's looking at her like, what? And then she's like, looks at him like, what? Did, did, what? Did, did I lie? Did I, did I say a lie? Did I tell a lie? Is that not what happened? No, no. The point is that is what happened. And you're a snake. <laughs> like, wh what do you think this is? You're trying to convince people that you actually like this man. And you're, and then you go and do that. <laughs> God forbid. Nah. No, as in, Anton, and then Anton basically says, he stands on business. Stands on 10 toes. Brownie points to Anton. Big man. Yeah. He, he, he should turn around and say, Ugh, Georgia, you're not my girl. You're not my girl. You're full of shit. Fuck off. Yeah, that's that's what you should say, but pff, I think he'll end up begging her back anyway. But it was foul behaviour from Georgia, disgusting behaviour. The way she just... Uh, but then, anyway, he stood on business and I respect him for that. She's a snake. But <clears throat> either way, Callum and Jess, um, Callum and Jess get one. Um, 
and the, the twins I forgot what the twins one of the twins said but she's just trill just, I like the twins the twins are cool people personality wise then the twist is basically um, they have to dump one boy and one girl from the vulnerable couples and the vulnerable couples are um, Casey and Eve Joe and Arabella and Chris and Joanna now I don't know who they're going to vote Casey and Eve who are they going to vote there they're both they're both pretty new that's tight Eve's just come in that's tight that's tight Joe and Arabella Arabella in a bit man please be Arabella that would be so funny Joe's just come in let the man let the man listen it'll be it'll be more it'll be more funny if Joe gets the boot I will love that just because it'll be that's just because he's been here for two seconds but I think Arabella needs to get the boot and then Chris and Joanna Jesus that's tight That's tight. Chris is annoying me recently with just his weird behaviour now and then, but Joanna's tears. Either way, I don't really care. Uh, let me know your thoughts, guys. I'm knackered. I need to get this video out. Let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Peace.